say you go to jail, you do a crime, you do your time for the crime, you come back out into society and you're trying to continue your life. You think society should welcome you back with open arms and forgive you, or they should be skeptical and they're watching you with one eye and judging you? You take a drink on the boy. <laughs> oh yes, I have my, must have my wine. And that one, that main topic, that topic belongs to someone like me. True. For someone who have got into trouble in the past, I've went to prison, served my time well, and I emerged from prison back into society. But first, while I would like to see the society open wide arms, also the government to join the society to a lot of people like me, a lot of us who have gone to that institution and emerge from that institution, we need to do a bit better sure. in our life. Sure. A lot of us have got relatives and friends that are always willing and ready to assist us. But because we, have, we continue to fail our friends and relatives and the society, okay? So that's why you see society look down on a lot of people True. like me who have gone to prison and come out. One of the things that I continue to say about uh, ex-prisoners I believe the government must form, or the prison association, along with the government, must form a committee with a group of people. And when people come go to prison, especially one like me who have been to prison once and intend to remain, it, let it be once, that little group of, um, of, of the committee must be able to come out and meet people like me. And even those who continue to repeat themselves and see if they can get them to change, right? You, you wouldn't believe me. I'm out of prison now, about 27 years. And all those years that I've spent in prison, would you believe that if you go to prison today, you will meet people who were there all those years with me, are still going to prison? Yep. So a lot of people need help. But again, we as individuals, we have to take our life into our hands and try to show and prove to society that we are willing and ready to get that second chance. And once we get that second chance, we got to move on with it and make our life as positive as we can. But for too long, too many of us has failed society. But by continue to repeat ourselves and doing commit crime and go to prison. But being fair, when it comes to that, right? Some of the criminals, I, I know some of them personally, like people who did crimes come out. Some of them went back into crime due to the stigma and taint they get put on them by society as they come back out here. Eh? Because they go to trying to get jobs and so on. When they get a the job now, they're like, oh, he been get locked up for teeth and thing, keep a hype on here. Nah. And then for some unknown reason, they can look for any little excuse to fire you because they hide in their mind, oh, this person can look for a robbery place. So then when they do that here and then you get fired from here, you ain't get a chance. You ain't get a chance here. Eh? You ain't get a chance here. Eh? You can think to yourself, boy, let me go back to crime jazz. Well, that is so true with what you say, but it comes back again that regardless to what people want to think about us have been to prison, as long as we decide that we are out here to prove ourselves to society, in no time, all what they have to say bad about us will go. Okay? It will go. But I think that too many of these criminals continue when they get a chance to, to, make a, to, get, to, get, to make a mess yeah. of their life, okay? I am out of prison about 27 years. And when I was coming out of prison, I didn't have no stationery to go, you know? No, no, no. But I come out of prison and I put my head down. And today I put all the breakable pieces of glasses together. And I've got a wonderful life. And one of the things I have to say is thank God to many people in this society. Carl, let me tell you something. I have got a special relationship up to today's date with many prison officers, especially those that have retired. Because over the years, you know, by now they have retired. And I can go to some of them home and get anything to eat and drink. So we have to work on ourselves. So I really thankful to this society and the many people who have lifted up my life. And I will continue to prove them right and continue to do what is best and what is just. Because if I follow many people, you know, I could have been like them other guys. I could have gone back to prison. But I said no to prison. So thank you for the support and so on that was given to him when he came out, all the encouragement and the push. So yeah, and somebody had made a mention that maybe a rehabilitation center could be something good for people when they come out oh, of yeah. jail. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Government, any government of the day must 
put something in place for those prisoners that continue to go to prison and come out. But again, let me tell you. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. When I come out here, these disciples do good. Do if good. I take you to prison today, I could pinpoint a lot of guys that have made jail with me 30 years ago. What the hell they want still in jail exactly. in today's age exactly. and time? No, no, no. That is, that is unjust to this society here. So, main point, I would love to see a committee form within the prison or within the government, uh, government system to really assist. Because I see some guys out here you now who have made them time with me and they're really trying hard Fox. to keep themselves together. And in anything I have and I meet them and they want, I will make sure extend to them. As a matter of fact, let me add to that. It are some guys in prison right now that have got Ghana trades. Um, it has some of the bodies big where this come out in prison sometimes. Oh, yeah. Some of the bodies phone the chanting this come out the inside the prison. Yeah, you have to understand this. So, hey, society could welcome them back. We just need a more open minded look. And it's according to the crime, too, as well. Because eh? I don't believe in rapists, I don't believe in pedophiles. Well, yeah. None of them thing. Yeah, yeah I, I can't see myself forgiving all of for doing them thing. All the spoiling people's life and all of them thing, the people. Right, but yeah, Kellen, yes. blessings. You take care, man, and all the best. Oh. Take care, sir. Enjoy your